So I'm going to link the uh, description on, on the... Uh, I'm going to link the link the, of the YouTube channel description. On the description below, sorry. Oh. Hello everyone, also here from RVT. Uh, this is going to be a video on uh, feeder for the uh, Layens Hive. The the swarm that I don't uh, the swarm that I got a little probably like about a month ago. Uh, it's gonna be up there on the description on the top right. I'm not description but top right. Um, I got a swarm and it was like a very very small swarm. And when I looked when I when I did my inspection on my last video, <clears throat> um, I noticed that I mean there was no capped. Uh, you know no capped honey or anything like that so and you know this is my first time doing i'm not gonna i don't want to sound like an expert but uh when i cut those the swarm and i transferred and everything i noticed that uh they were they looked like they were they looked like they were starving to me i didn't see any capped uh you know honey or anything like that and uh so and then I didn't see a lot of activity going in and out out of the hive and or nothing like that. So I was getting concerned there, and I didn't, you know, I needed to feed them. And since Lane's hives don't have feeders, oh, well, you cannot just buy a feeder from the store for the uh, Lane's hive. And uh, and you know, my little two kit that I bought from Amazon, it's gonna be down in the description below. Uh, came with this thing right here but you know this is like an entrance feeder and I've I've you know I've heard from a lot of beekeepers that you know those are not good because you know you'd encourage other bees to um, go in there and try to you know rob the other bees from from their honey you know especially you know colonies that are like really weak and so I thought, you know, that that won't be good. Besides that, you know, my entrance to the hive that I built uh, doesn't have, you know, a, a square bottom, like, so you can stick this in there. So th this is not even going to work. So, and I thought, you know, I need to build something where I can feed the bees, but not encourage other bees. I mean, I have, I mean, I don't have other I don't have other bees, you know, uh, other hives that they can come over here and steal. This is my first hive. Um, but, you know, still, you know, I didn't want other bees around. I don't know who's got bees around me or nothing like that. So, I thought, you know, I'm just going to build something where I can um, use to feed the bees. And, uh, and I'm going to show you here what I built for you. And I, I just built everything out of scrap. I had this board right here, and then you can see the evidence of what I used. <laughs> but uh, this is actually from a cabinet from uh, a construction from my other house that we built a little while back. Uh, I guess they, they didn't use it for a different house, so they just throw it threw it in the trash in our pile. And... Uh, you know, and I looked at it. And I said, "You know what? This is, this is nice piece of wood. I can probably use it somewhere in the future." So I kept it, and I had it for like maybe five years now, <laughs> and I'm finally getting to use it. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I, my smoke is not that big. You know, it, it's, it's I only have one hive, like I said, so I don't build it that big. Um, but I'm let, anyway. Let's go ahead over there and look at what I built. All right, so here we are the hive. Now, what I built the first time, just to block, you know, the uh, hive from coming out into the rest of the box, I, I built this cap on the outside. So I started thinking maybe I can build something that can go inside the hive and then cut like a line strip right here where the bees can go in and then build some kind of support on the other side so I can put some kind of uh, jar with the with the bee 
with you know sugar water mix i also follow uh i don't uh there's a big youtube you know he's a master beekeeper that, that i've been watching for a long time now and uh you know his hives they're like the regular langstroth uh, hives they're not like this one but i like how he explains everything you know with detail about the bees and everything and i really enjoy his channel so i'm gonna link the uh, description on, on the uh i'm gonna link the link of the youtube channel description on the description below sorry <laughs> anyways uh uh, his name is uh, David Burns, and uh, I've been watching his YouTube channel for a while now. But uh, you know, besides the other channels, I've been watching for a long time too. But uh, anyways, uh, this is what I end up with right here. So I build the uh, cap right here, and then on the uh, bottom, I build the entrance and uh, kind of like enclosed everything in there. Um. And then on the on right here on this side, I put like a support, so you know, so that it supports the uh, weight of the. This is like a two quart uh, pickle jar that I had, and for, I bought from Costco, and uh, that's that's why I started using. And then I, I poke some holes on the bottom. Right here, and the. I, I uh, feed them two of these already, uh, one quart actually. I only fill it out to one quart, and I did the make sure that uh, David Burns stayed on to his uh, hive. And you can see the bees in there. They were there eating or getting that nectar or the sugar water mixture. I put like a little um, screen right there, so if I remove that. I don't keep bees stuck to there. Kind of like his idea, but uh, doing it all on the side. And not only that, that is uh, not only that it's actually on top, but it's actually on the side. Not like the uh, uh, length strut, you know, you feed them from the top. This this one I'm feeding it from the side, and um, and I think it, it worked pretty well. They already took two quarts, so. And this is in the span of a couple of weeks. Um, I know I haven't opened the hive ever since I started feeding them. I did take a look in there uh, about uh, maybe last week, but I didn't go into deep, too deep in there. I just took one frame out so I can check out to see what they're doing in there. And uh, I, uh, there was like a bunch of bees in here, not bees, uh, ants in here. Uh, as you can see, I, was, I only see one in here now, but uh, there it is. And I put tape around it so the ends don't get in there. <laughs> kind of like make it like a seal. Um, and then on the inside, of course, you know, there's no tape. And so that the everything was glued in there and stapled. <laughs> and then here's the bo uh, bottom. How it looks at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how the bottom looks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and uh, and show you uh, a couple of frames here. All right, so this is how I took care of the end problem. Put the uh, bottle of soda there and uh, put like small slices of uh, with the knife where only can, uh, ants can go in there and. Uh, and I haven't seen any bees flying around there either. It was mostly it was it is just ants that was that it was bad. I mean, when I first put this this bottle in there, it was like ants that were like all over that. And now you know you only see a few walking around. Um, I put like a sugar water mixture with the. Uh, I think I put a five. I think it was like five to one uh, borax and five sugar and then I added a little bit of water and kind of like shook it around for a little uh, for a long time <laughs> and uh, and I put you know just 
lay flat like that and then put some sl uh, slit some uh, uh, little openings on the sides with the knife and so the uh, ants can go in there but bees cannot go in there because this will kill the bees too if they actually try to uh, eat that you know the borax and I put it right next to the leg that uh, the bees were calling in from sorry I've been under under the weather for a little while now but they were going in there like crazy and uh, it seems like that took care of the problem. Now I don't see any ants. They were crawling all up in here into the hive. And uh, then that, and then I put this right here so it doesn't roll around with the wind or nothing like that. Keep it there on the side so it doesn't spill on the ground or anything like that. Because uh, it's bad if other animals eat this. Uh, I've heard that uh, borax is, you know, deadly to bugs and, and uh, mammals and stuff like that. So it's been it's been working so far. You know, I don't have dead bees, but I do have dead uh, ants, and really like that that I don't have any ants in the hive. All right, so here you can see the entrance of it. This is actually the inside of the uh, of the board, and I put like a little uh, cut so they can go in and out, get the the sugar water mixture. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the frames and then show you what's going on in there. I haven't looked at it, so I'm going to see what's going on. <laughs> Alright, I just opened it up. And as you can see, there's like a bunch of nectar in there. They've been, uh, this, like, this frame actually feels heavy this time. Not like last time. Over here, I saw some capped. Let me pull. Let's see. Over here, I actually saw some, a little bit of capped uh, honey or... All right, so it's actually the next day, and uh, weather feels a lot better now. My my camera died again uh, yesterday, and uh, you know it's been so hot. Like I said before, my other videos it's been over a hundred degrees like every every day for the last I don't know forty something days. Almost I don't know how many days, but it's been it's been hot a hundred degrees every day. Today it's actually overcast and uh, it's, it's a lot better today. Um, it's a little bit overcast over here so I don't see a lot of bees going in and out. Um, but anyways, uh, I was talking about the the frames over here. They actually feel uh, heavier. It, it feels like they've, they've been taking the uh, sugar water mixture and storing it. And... Uh, so actually, you know, most of them, they were pretty good. And then I did saw some brood, uh, cat brood over here on the frame that the uh, queen usually hangs out, which is the one right in the middle. And, um, well, kind of like in the middle since there's um, six frames here. But anyways, um, she usually hangs out on this frame right here. And uh, she was in there and... I did show. I thought I showed it to you, the the uh, the queen. But then I didn't. I didn't realize that that my uh, my camera was dead already. You know, I get a warning message saying that my camera is too hot, so it just shuts off by itself. Um, but anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, it's been pretty pretty successful with this little experiment that I did here, and uh, I'm glad that uh, I did it because. Uh, they weren't looking so good and I felt that uh, they needed some uh, You know some some food, you know, cuz it's been hot out here and um, These bees, you know, there's a drought and these bees, you know, they they're not strong enough to actually, you know, go 
out there. And I mean, I'm not a, a bee expert, but I, f I felt that uh, that they were starving, and I felt that I needed to do something about it. And this is what I did. This is my only hive that I have, so I'm a I'm a try to uh, I tried that you know I'm need to save them, and hopefully they'll make it through winter. But uh, we'll see. Um, I heard that we're gonna have a really bad one since it's been so hot out here this this year. And but I hope it's not as bad that we had like a couple years ago the big freeze and. Uh, power shutting down and all that stuff and we were living in the rv during that time and it was pretty bad but we had to move to a hotel but that's that's a different story anyways i hope you like this video and uh if you please you know subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see a sneak peek of my uh a pre sneak peek on my youtube channel uh make sure you check me out on my instagram and like I say, make sure you also like and uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And I would really appreciate that. You know, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And if you hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, and that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. And have an awesome uh, rest of the summer. Hopefully I will make another video before then. Have a rest. <laughs> <laughs> have a great uh have a great day or whatever you have <laughs> or night <laughs>